What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this funky abstract animation I made in Blender. Uh, it kind of looks like a alien boob, but to keep it safe for the kids, we're just going to call it a cosmic porcupine. Uh, I pretty much made it just using modifiers, um, it shouldn't take too long to replicate, and yeah, on with the tutorial. So, once you have Blender open, we're going to delete the default cube, so click on your cube, hit X, and delete. Now hit Shift A and we're going to add a mesh and we're going to add a UV sphere. Now hit the tilde key and then hit 3 so you zoom on in, hit tab to go into edit mode and we're going to hit the tilde key again and this time we're going to hit 7 so we get a front view. Okay so come over here and click on x-ray mode and that's going to allow us to select all the vertices behind the ones in front um, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, if not don't worry just make sure you got that selected. Uh, make sure you're selecting your faces and we're just gonna get rid of the bottom half. So highlight this bottom half, hit X, and delete faces. And now we have this semi-sphere here. Okay, so you're still in edit mode. Now hit A, come to edge, and we're gonna select edge split. Now come out of edit mode, so hit tab again, and select your modifiers. We're gonna add a new modifier, and we're gonna add a smooth modifier. Now pop the factor down to about 1.504, add a new modifier and we're going to add a solidify modifier. And we're just going to come out of x-ray mode now because we don't need that. So just click on that thing. So we'll pump the thickness to about minus 0.93 I think. Now we're going to add a new modifier and we're going to add a wireframe modifier. And we're going to pump, drop the thickness down to about, let's say about 0 0.008. You want to uncheck this box. Uh, so it adds the wireframe over the mesh rather than replacing. Okay, now we're going to add a displace modifier and that's going to do this weird thing here. <laughs> sort of weird boob. Now the hierarchy is important with this, so you want your displace modifier at the top. So this one with the triangles, just click on the up arrow until you get it to the top of the hierarchy. Now add a new texture and come down here to your texture settings. We're going to change this to clouds pump the size up to 2 and we're going to drop the depth down to 0. Select your camera, hit Alt G and Alt R. Now if you hit G and then Z you can bring it up and we'll hit 0 to go into camera view and we'll do G then Z and we'll bring it up until we get a good spot basically. So we say about here. Now hit Shift A, add an empty and we're going to add an empty cube and we're going to animate this cube. So bring your timeline up and Make sure you've got your empty selected. Come to location settings. First of all, we're going to make it a five second animation. So change the end to 120. And we're going to animate the Z axis. So apply keyframe on frame one. And come to frame one, two, one. And we're going to change the Z axis to 360. And we're going to add a keyframe frame one, two, one. Now, if you hit play, you'll see the cube spins on the Z axis. And it's a seamless loop there. Now what we're going to do with this empty is we're going to we're going to make the empty control the texture of the um, displacement. So if you come to your sphere now, and we're going to go to the modifier settings. So if you click on here, and then on your displacement settings, on texture coordinate, change that to object, and then you want to assign this to your empty. And now, when you play the animation, it's going to affect the actual displacement of the object and it's going to call, create this weird rotating effect. Cool. We are going to add another sphere. So hit Shift A, add a mesh and we're going to add another UV sphere and just hit S to scale it and we're going to scale it down a little bit. We'll just scale it yeah, just, just about there so it's not none of it's clipping. Now go back into your camera view and it's time to start shading the object. So if you hit Z, then 8, that takes you into rendered mode. Now we're going to delete this light. So click on the light, hit X, delete. And we're going to make the world black. So come to your world settings on color, bring that fader all the way down. So on this one we'll call Tilly. And this one we'll call Shine. Now select your Titty and <laughs> come to the material settings. And we're gonna a new material, 
and we're going to leave this as it is and we're going to bring this down a bit we're going to pump the metallic up and we're going to bring the roughness all the way down now add a new material and we're going to make this one an emission shader so select emission and we're going to make it a nice sort of deep blue and pump the strength up to eight you're going to see that hasn't done anything to the color so we're going to go to our modifier settings of our titty and we're going to come down to the wireframe we're going to change this to material one and now we're getting some emission on the wireframe and there you go you have a nice blue tip next step we're just gonna make this look a little bit better so if you come to your scene settings and make sure you're in Eevee because we're using Eevee for this and select ambient inclusion bloom screen space reflections and motion blur and on your bloom we're going to bring that down to about 0 0.024 and then on color management we're going to make this very high contrast and gamma on 0.9 I'm going to make the color a bit so I'm going to make it a bit of a more dark blue to purple so I think we can turn our overlays off now so we get a more accurate representation of the animation so just click on this and come to your shiny ball and we're going to start shading this now so if you add a new material and we are going to shade this using the node based editor so if you just come to the top corner here your cursor should change into a cross and that means you can drag this window in now we're going to go click on this little menu here change that to shader editor and you're going to get this node based editor here and this basically this is exactly the same as what you see here it just gives you a bit more depth with what you can do so for example if I change that color if I change that base color to black you'll see it moves there as well on the right menu so it's just two different ways of doing things now we're going to delete this so hit X and come to shift hit shift A and we're going to add an emission shader so pop that there plug the emission into the surface and you're going to get a nice shiny ball in your boob so here's what we're going to do hit shift A and add a new color ramp and this is going to allow us to do some fun things with the shading so plug the color into the color now hit shift A and we're going to add a magic texture plug the color into the fac and on your color ramp click on your color ramp hit shift D and we'll duplicate that pop that there plug it into the vector and then we're going to add a noise texture that goes into the color ramp so plug the color into the fact here and come to your first color ramp click on click on your white fader here and we're going to change this to red and just bring this black in a bit and bring the red in a bit for more emission and we're also going to pump up the emission so let's put that to about 25 give it a nice strong glow now if you bring the detail down on your noise texture and bring the scale down to about one we're going to get some cool effects with this so and we're going to animate that, it's going to look awesome. If you want more detail, you can pump up the uh, distortion on the magic texture and get a bit more definition on the texture. But we'll leave it as it is for now. Right, so click on your noise texture. And if you have Node Wrangler installed, you can just hit Control T. If you haven't got Node Wrangler, just go into Preferences, go to Edit, Preferences, on Add ons, just type in Node Wrangler and you should be able to you just tick, tick this box and it should install it just makes things easier so we've added a mapping node now and we're going to animate the rotation of this mapping node so come to your first frame hit i on the y axis come to frame 1 to 1 and hit 360 and hit i again and now you're going to get this cool rotating sphere but there's more we can do with it so we're going to animate the color ramp now so come to your color ramp on this position hit i on your keyboard to add a keyframe click on the keyframe shift d to duplicate and we're going to bring that to frame one two one this ensures that we're the color ramp is at the same position when it comes to an end come to frame 61 bring the color ramp in we'll say to about here and hit i again now hit a t and set the interpolation to Bezier. Now last bit of animation on the shading, we are going to play around with the color on this. So click on your red color ramp and on the color, hover your mouse above the color, hit I, and again, shift D, 
duplicate that to frame 121 and we're going to just animate the color now so come to frame 21 move your color to about here hit I 41 bring the color about here hit I that's looking great cool now there's one last thing we can do to the T so click on it and we're gonna go to the modifier section and we are going to animate the thickness of the wireframe come to frame 21 and apply a keyframe here hit shift D on that keyframe to about 101 and on frame 121 we're gonna bring the thickness down to zero now hit I and shift D and duplicate that to the first frame now hit A T make sure you're on Bezier now you get this kind of disintegration effect of the um, of the wireframe it looks quite cool all right that's pretty much it now it's just time to render the file so if you come to your render settings change the output to somewhere you can find it and we just name the file come to your uh, file format change that to ffmpeg video encoding change that to mpeg4 video codec leave it as it is and make sure that's set to perceptually lossless then just come to render and hit render animation and you're done Alright then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and also check out my website where you can find this render along with the project file and lots more content. That's nebmotion.co.uk. Cheers.